breaking news. The African Union, AU, is advocating for a revision of global maps to accurately represent Africa's true size. Did you know Africa is actually way bigger than the world makes it look? The maps we usually see are based on something called the Mercator Projection. Watch this. Yeah, our current world map is wildly misleading, so let's talk about it. Most of you are probably used to seeing our world portrayed as such, and that is due to the common use of the Mercator projection, a map that makes countries near the poles look bigger and those at the equator look smaller. You see, in 1569, Flemish cartographer Gerardus Mercator created a revolutionary map for navigating the seas. By constructing the world as a cylinder, not a sphere, his map was able to represent the meridians and parallels as straight lines that crossed at right angles. Thus helping sailors navigate some of their first trips. Thing is, transferring that cylindrical projection onto a flat sheet of paper was a bit problematic, as it left big confusing gaps near the poles. And so, Mercator stretched out the northern and southern extremities of the globe to fill those gaps, and that brings us to the map we have today. Somehow, it became the world's most globally used map, and as such, warped our perceptions of the actual sizes of continents, much to the advantage of some of them. Yeah, the fact that continents like the US and Europe were greatly in enlarged was no accident. It was done so Western cartographers could more easily mark towns, cities, etc. in their part of the world. Of course, much needed to be mapped in Africa, but that mattered less to them. It could also be said that imperialism and colonialism lent a hand in projecting certain continents as bigger and thus more intimidating. For example, while Canada and Russia appear to take up about 25% of the Earth's surface, in reality they only cover 5%. Greenland and Africa look similar in size on most maps, but in reality, Africa is 14 times larger than Greenland. In fact, Greenland is even smaller than just one African country, DR Congo. Now let's talk about Russia. On maps, it looks massive, almost larger than Africa. But here's the truth. You could fit Russia inside Africa, twice. And that's not all. The US, China, India, Japan, and all of Europe, they can all fit inside Africa at the same time. But interestingly, on the Mercator projection, Africa is the most accurately sized continent. You see, because Africa straddles the equator, it barely changes in size, but that also means that it gives us a false mental measuring stick for judging the relative size of other countries.